Deer Hunting The Deer Hunt Here in northern Ontario, Canada, at this time of year, November, we take some of us the time to sit here high in a tree stand, high above Mother Earth, to sit and wait for deer. Here in Canada, we abide by a number of hunting rules that the rest of the world might look at as rather strange. Yes, you're hunting for a wild animal here in the wilderness. One might think you would be camouflaged. <coughs> but you're not Bushman Bob and of the rest of the hunters of Canada here, dressed in bright orange. Here in Canada, we dress in bright orange. Observe. Orange. Orange hat. Bright orange to give the wild animals perhaps a fighting chance. Yes, right now there's likely a buck over there. Likely a big buck, and he's looking at me here dressed in orange, and he's saying to himself, what a silly human. What a silly human sitting in his tree stand with his rifle, dressed in bright orange, and speaking at a high volume, so flippant high that they can hear him probably a mile away in this wilderness. Those who hunt the rest of the earth likely are camouflaged. Yes, when they hunt for lions and sand and in Africa and things like that, they dress the, to, to look like the rest of the bush, but not here, because we have to abide by the rules. Yes, the rules. Well, of course, the purpose of it is so that the humans don't shoot humans. <laughs> humans don't shoot humans here in the wilderness, right. Dress in bright orange so that that guy knows that I'm a human and not an animal. Then that's how smart the hunters are here in Canada. Imagine. Bright orange. No wonder I can't get a flipping deer, but they have to dress in orange. All of, oh, yeah. Well, there he is way over there. <laughs> hey, little dot. Bright orange. You can see him a mile away. You think the deer can't see him? Hey, they're looking at him going, not an idiot. Dressed in bright orange. But here I sit. Here I sit with my bullets and my rifle and all the money I spent to be here. And I'm dressed in bright orange. Well, it's insane. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> come, come. Come, come. Bambi, come, come, my little bucky-doo. Come, come. Come and look at my <coughs> bright orange jacket and hat. Thank you. Thank you very much. <coughs> There's no rules in the rule book that say you can't have a little fire when you're deer hunting. Taking a little break. Taking a little coffee break. Yeah. Started a little campfire to warm my bones because it's a little frosty out here. But that's okay because they say the deer <laughs> smells the hardwood. Oh yeah. They smell the hardwood. And it'll bring them right in. So I'm having a little campfire to warm my freaking fingers. Huh? My trigger finger. Because it's going to be triggering pretty soon for a nice buck. Oh, yeah. Just thought I'd share the fire with you. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, now. Busy beaver. Busy beaver been biting the trees here and having a little snack. Hey, beaver chips. Beaver chips. <laughs> Who'd have thunk? Maybe it's not a bad idea. Beaver chips. Maybe I could set up a little booth. 
right here on the shore. Hey, a little beaver chip booth. Maybe the beavers would come around and I could make a little bit of wampum. Hey. <laughs> See, it's way out there. What's that out there? Oh my. Hey. <laughs> Setting up a little beaver chip stand, eh? Beaver chips. <laughs> Busy beaver making beaver chips. There's something in this. Thank you. Thank you very much. A lovely nature trail, a lovely nature walk. There I was, minding my own business, going for a little nature walk. With a rifle, mind you, going for a nature walk looking for deer, yes. So I've been off for the morning, having a lovely day in the wilderness, relaxing, enjoying the fresh air, and whilst I enjoy nature. I am under attack in the field. Observe. <laughs> he strikes again. Zip ties. <laughs> My vehicle has been accosted by the zip tie bandit. Oh yeah. They found me out here in the middle of flipping nowhere and attacked my vehicle. Observe. Zip tie, zip tie. On the mirror even, shall we say. On the freaking windshield wiper. What about the aerial? He comes and he attacks my vehicle. Hey, hey, total, total, absolute road attack here on my freaking vehicle. Zip tie. Zip tie! The wheels! <laughs> Even the flipping wheels, eh, pal? Had a lot of time to. <laughs> the trailer hitch! Hey, sir, it's okay. I'll get my, my buggy, eh? I'll get my tools out. I stashed my keys in. Oh. I stashed. <laughs> hey. I can't even get my keys out! I know who you are, eh? I know who you are. I asked one or the other. There's two of them now, eh? There's Jake and this Chisel. It's one or the other. Oh my. Oh my. Under attack by the zip tie bandits. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> the sweet taste of revenge shall be mine. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you bastards. Quack. Canada. In Canada, we have winter. That's right. Winter. Winter arrives and <laughs> the trees are now engulfed in snow. In the distance, you see a black lake. Everyone's gone home. Nobody left in the north. No one left in the north. <laughs> I'll bet when winter strikes, you pack up your cottage, you pack up your little summer home, and you go home, don't you? But you're not Bushman Bob, are you? When winter strikes, I come to the north, and I come to enjoy the winter wonderland that is presented by Mother Nature. Here I find my table. The table is engulfed in snow, but also there is a mystery. What might be that bump? <laughs> what is the bump under the snow? Well, let's just adventure, shall we? Let's carry down 
to this location. And let's see what might be there. Well, now. It's a Canadian. <laughs> How appropriate! <laughs> How appropriate to find an ice cold Canadian waiting for me here in this lovely, lovely, lovely winterland of snow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Perhaps now I will enjoy my Canadian. Yes, I shall pop the can and enjoy my lovely Canadian presented to us by Molson. Ah, thank you. My sponsor? Well, maybe not, not quite yet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <sighs> Might be frozen. <laughs> Still Canadian. Frozen beer. Nothing like a frozen beer, I say. Thank you. Uh.